Hello there guys, India is now conducting back-to-back -back missile tests like there is no tomorrow. In this episode we are going to talk about India's new indigenous missile Rudram. In Sanskrit it means remover of sorrows. This missile is designed keeping in mind suppression of enemy air defense capabilities. What that means we shall discuss in a minute. This missile was launched from a Sukhoi-30 MKI jet and it can be fitted to other fighter jets as well. It can be launched from a height between 500 meters to 15 kilometers above ground and can hit radars and other communication installations within a range of 250 kilometers. And how is this different from other missiles? Well, India has a large fleet of very expensive fighter jets and it's important to keep them safe as far as possible during a conflict. Imagine this. In case a war breaks out before sending India's expensive fighter jets, Rudram can be used to destroy enemy radars and their air defense systems. With this, the Indian Armed Forces, especially the Indian Air Force, would be at an advantage because the enemy radars would no longer be able to detect them. So how does this work? Unlike other missiles which depend on inputs from an external source, this missile actually searches for a radar. A radar emits radiations, so this missile will detect those radiations being emitted. Once this missile locks onto an enemy radar, even if a radar shuts down, the missile can still proceed and destroy those installations. This missile has a strike range from 100 to over 200 kilometers. But since it is launched by a fighter jet, the range depends on how deep a jet can go into enemy territory. The missile needs some more flights before it is ready for induction. So how does this missile detect radars? Rudram has something called as a passive homing head. The passive homing system locks itself onto radiation emitting from a radar. And that is how it detects, tracks and neutralizes the enemy radar. So once again the benefit of passive homing technology is that the air defense problem from the enemy is reduced and a broad range of energy and frequencies are available. This project began 8 years ago by DRDO in collaboration with other facilities in India. They had to face a lot of challenges because the missile needed to be fitted to a fighter jet and also they had to develop passive homing system and many related technologies. 